So this is my live modular rig and it's in a case that I can carry on hand luggage, which is very handy. And I guess this is unusual to most people's live setups because it's essentially a noise box. It doesn't have a sequencer, so I can't program in any sort of drum patterns or melodies with it. It's just, it's good for improvising basically. This little module here is called a woggle bug and it's basically gonna tell this whole system what to do. So why I do it, I stick here, it's kicking out uh, a gate signal and I put it into this thing, which is a splitter. So now when I turn this, see it's split out over the whole of the thing. So I can now put that in four different modules if I want to. So this is essentially the, the pulse of the whole thing. That I'm, as I'm turning it, it pulses. And then there's various variations on this signal, which come out of these other holes. So, but I'm just gonna concentrate on this, this, uh, this clock out. So basically I've got a loads of different noise sources that do that sound different ways. Some drone and some need to be triggered. Some are like more like drum orientated. So this one kicks out a load of just sort of consistent weird noises. And what I do is I plug it into this mixer here and then I'll have control over which one I want in the mix and I can blend the different sources together. So this is going to the output and you can hear that it's just a lot of strange noises that can be manipulated. So I use this one as a bed, really. It carries on going forever and it's got a lot of interesting timbres that you can get out of it. And then what I'll do on top of that, I'll have this, this signal, which is the click out thing. I'll have this trigger in, this is called a Dinky's Tyco, made by ALM Busy Circuits. Most of the ALM stuff actually is the backbone of my setup. So this is gonna trigger the Tyco. The Tyco is going to go into the mixer as well. So now. And uh, you can manipulate the sounds here. At the moment, it's like a white noise sort of thing. So we've got two sound sources now, which, are, which will go over the top of each other. And what I'm going to do next is, this signal path, I'm going to run it into a send, which allows me to mix a dry signal with some effects units. And I like this because some effects units, they take a bit of the weight out of the sound, so you lose the presence in a club. But if you use a send unit, it keeps everything in it, and it, it also distorts a bit as well. You can run it into itself and make it clip and it's just, it sounds nice, basically. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna interrupt this signal flow here. Instead of going to the output, it's gonna come, it's gonna come out here. It's gonna go into the send unit. The send unit is then gonna go through a string of effects. It's quite a simple sound that's coming out of here. So we're gonna use these various effects to spice it up a bit. It's coming out of the send unit and then I'm going to put it into this um, granular synthesizer by Mutable Instruments. After that, it's going to come out of this. It's going to go into a delay unit by Make Noise. It's going to come out the delay unit. It's going to go into a reverb, another Make Noise one. It's going to come out the reverb. It's going to go back into the send as a return. And then the final signal goes to the output again. So, you know how this, clicking away. And now when I bring the send in, it's gonna be spicy. <laughs> Basically, it's a bit rowdy at the moment, but already it's starting to have a bit more of an interesting timbre. can also start so then also when I want to bring in those effects bursts I now have a, a master control to bring that in but yeah I could mess around with this all day really but ultimately it just kind of shows the sort of the thing and then all you do is you keep building on the patch so i add in more sound sources. So we've got another sound source. And 
you see that's now starting to all mulch together and sort of become rhythmic in its own way and it's starting to become more of an interesting sound and timbre and it has a sort of groove to it. And yeah, you just keep building and building. That's what it's all about. When I use this in a club environment, it's, I guess it's different to the way most people do live shows because usually when you go to a dance music event, you'll see someone who's either DJing or doing a live show. And I think that even though I enjoy live electronic music, I think sometimes it can become a bit boring. For me, it's not as exciting as someone who has full control of the club and can match a mood and quickly change the mood of a room with a, a, a tune that they've selected. So I've decided to combine the two. And what I do is, instead of doing like a half hour live set, I'll be playing some tunes. And then if I feel like I need to switch up the mood, what I can do is bring in the modular and then I can improvise on the modular for a bit. But ultimately you don't want to be um, improvising for too long because it will get boring. And I use it as a breakdown basically. So I might be, be thumping out some music which is really hard and relentless and if I want to then stop tiring people out I might t decide I want to take it down a little bit which I'll use the modular for and then I can bring it back up again. So it's, it's pretty simple what I do really. I've got a couple of ways of getting between the, the music and the lives. Sometimes I just wash it out with a reverb to ambience or white noise and then I'll bring in this. Also lately I don't have it with me right now but I've got one of the new Roland 909s I use it to clock this whole modular system. So if I've got a tune here, I can essentially, I can beat match. It's, it's kind of a bit rough around the edges, but I can beat match the modular to the track that's playing. So you, yeah, you can mix it basically. What I would generally do is I can wait till I break down. However, I've got my way into the modular. Then what I'll do is I'll just build up the tones till I'm happy to start tweaking and playing with various little bits and pieces. And what I can do is I can gradually build this up into a cacophony of sounds and it just almost like a wash so it's like a big drone basically my drone can pitch it around and you can build on that make it a bit less harsh and then literally all i do is bring in the other tune underneath it you know it's not rocket science what i'm doing And I can, however I want to do it, I can wash this out using filters. It's ultimately just about just trying to make the transitions as smooth as possible and trying to hold interest and keeping people on their toes and not letting them get too comfortable on a dance floor. It's nice to challenge people, but also it's nice to not be too self-indulgent, which is why I like the combination of the modular and the DJ setup. So yeah. I hope you have enjoyed my studio science.